Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Shana here, and today I have for you guys a tag video, finally. <laughs> I have so many tags I need to do and I'm just getting to them. Um, but the one we're gonna do today is the This or That Coloring Tag Volume, Volume, um, Round Two. And this was created by Michaela Renee, and she asked um, a bunch of us to go ahead and, um, uh, I can't think, <laughs> um, provide some questions for her. So one of the questions in here is mine. Um, I, because it's not on the list, I don't know who did each question. I know most of them are hers, but I know um, a couple of other creators threw their questions in as well. Um, so yeah, she tagged me as well. And if I feel like somebody else tagged me too, and I can't remember who, but anyway, um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started and I'm gonna try and finish this horse page that we started in my color and chat on Monday. So I tried to pre-pick the colors. We will see how well they work out, but you know, I'm working with what I've got, so. <laughs> um, let's go ahead. So question number one is coloring in bed or coloring at a desk? Um, so, well, that's kind of hard. I prefer coloring in bed, I think, because I do usually, um, do, like I do that a lot. I don't know if it's raining or if the wind is just crazy out there right now. Sorry, sidetracked. Um, but I don't know. If I'm doing something like this or like watercolors or something, I like to color, I prefer to color at a desk because it's easier to control like where you're putting your hand. Speaking of, I need to put my coloring glove on. Um, but if you're talking like color by number or something, which is what I do a lot of, or even just coloring with markers, alcohol markers in particular, um, in like a regular smaller coloring book, then I would say in bed. I guess I'm not really supposed to have like explanations, but Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where all the A's are. Cause there, you can tell it's like, not obviously a straight shot with all these A's. Okay. And we'll move on to, I almost said question B, question two. So I'm looking at all the B's on the page. Okay. Dang, nabbit. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me just do this quick. Maybe this was a bad choice, but it's all right. Um, all right, number two, Cray Crayola Super Tips or Stetler Markers? Well, I don't have the Stetler Markers. I only have the colored pencils and I don't like them that much. Um, but I would have to say Super Tips because I don't have the other ones. Um, I've seen a lot of people use the Stetlers and they do look really nice, but don't have any experience with them. But if I had to choose between the super tips and these toy markers, I'd probably go with these because I like the brush tip better than I like the nib on the super tips. But that's not the question. <laughs> all right, so that is A. And I think that's all for A, but as always, we're gonna keep it off to the side. Um, number three, Aries Romantic Country series or tracing series. Again, I don't have any of the tracing series, so I can't rightfully say that I prefer that. Also, I don't, I feel like they would take me extra time because I would want to color in the page in addition to, oh, I did miss an A over there. Um, In addition to tracing the lines, I don't know. I'm making a mess. Oh, I missed a gray piece right there. Luckily I have those out too. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd have to say her regular coloring books because I love, which I need to color in the more, but I love like the romantic country and her world heritage book. I really want her fairy tales book, which I think is the most recent. So maybe one day I will splurge 
after I move and everything. I'm trying not to buy anything until we are settled into the new place because then I can really see what kind of space I'm going to have. All right, number four, such and such Deva color by number or color Questopia. That's really hard. I like both of them a lot. I think I'd probably go with Sachin though. Um, but Color Questopia has fixed a lot of the problems that I had with it. Like I like, I've come to the conclusion that I probably will only buy their black backgrounds from now on. Cause I do like doing the lines, but when I want to color those, I really just want to sit down and put color to the paper. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those millions of gel pens that I have, but silver gel pens, but I'll figure something out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll probably, the um, books that I do have with um, the white background, I'll probably color in the lines. I just probably won't color in them as often, which is sad. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy the black backgrounds of those because that just feels wasteful. Whoops. Oh well. Um, my hand kind of did its own thing there. So, yeah, I'd probably say Sachin just because they're super simple and super cute images. And I would pick those up like when I'm tired and just want to do color by number. Um, before I'd pick up Color Questopia, probably. I don't know, though. That is really, really a hard question. And that's not me bashing Color Questopia either. Like I said, I really do like them. Two. I smell <laughs> so bad. I just got home from work. So I don't know if I'm smelling coffee like that's stuck on me or something, or my feet, <laughs> but I stink. And I should have showered before doing this, I guess, but I just wanted to get it done so that I can upload it and all that fun stuff. And also hopefully add a speed color in if we don't get this finished. All right, so I accidentally made a mistake with his eye there, made the black go over the line. So that looks kind of weird. Whoops. Oh, well, it's all right. Um, yeah. Number five, Hannah Lynn's simple version of the page or more detailed version of the page. That's hard too, because I like to do both depending on my mood, but I tend to lean towards the simpler one, especially if I'm using markers. Um, just because there's less to fiddle with. It, it really, again, depends on my mood because if I have the time, I will totally um, color everything. But if I'm doing like, I think because usually I'm doing those as a buddy color, I tend to pick the simpler version just because I don't, well, I mean, it depends on what the other person picks, I guess, but I don't want to like feel even more stressed trying to get it done, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So. Yeah, I would have to probably, if I had to choose forever and always, um, I'd go with the simplified because they come together more quickly. I knew there was going to be more C's somewhere. <clears throat> I'm sure there will be more that I've missed. We will find out, I guess. All right. C, D, um, number six, coloring animals or people. Ugh. <laughs> Both of those are kind of hard for me. Um, I like coloring animals a lot, but I don't do them like realistically. I also really like coloring people. I don't know. <laughs> this one's kind of stumped me, guys. I'm petrified of coloring like skin with pencils and stuff, but I would probably color an animal sooner. 
because I'm not too worried about like getting fur texture in. I probably go with animals actually, because I feel like I color more of that stuff than I do people. I don't know. We're gonna go with animals. Hang on, let me find the pathway here again. Oh, they're all mixed in. I think that's all D's. Cool. Um, <clears throat> number seven, plan your colors in advance or wing it. I almost always wing it. <laughs> um, except for something like this and like today where I picked out my colors in advance to match. Um, that I'll do sometimes, not very often. Even a lot of times doing color by number, I'm just like, eh, that's close enough. Let's go with that. <laughs> so... Yeah, I would say wing it 99.9% .9 of the time, but sometimes I do plan them out. It really depends, again, on the picture, but usually I'm winging it at some point in every picture. So this is a random side note, but I can like hear my neighbors and I think they might be getting back at me because I was, <laughs> before I got on here to film actually, so I guess I didn't just get home, but I haven't been home for that long. Um, I was like belting wicked at the top of my lungs. Now I can hear like their TV or something. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I won't miss that. Like I can just sing at the top of my lungs whenever I want to when we're in our own house, I guess. Well, I mean, it's a townhouse, so we'll see. <laughs> but all right, so that is D. Now we have E, which is the lightest. All right. Um, straight coloring or blended coloring. Um, I like, again, like to do both, but straight coloring for sure because it's simple and I like to get things done. I think it was Danielle. Yeah, well, I know it was her. I think she said something to the effect of, um, like coloring the pictures is fun, but getting more pictures colored is more fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm right in that thought camp as well. So yeah, I just really like to just straight color um, and then add my own little embellishments. I think they look just as good doing that as they do when you blend and shade, but there is a time and place for that. And there are days and pictures that I'm like, oh yeah, I really want to do markers and then blend over it with pencils, something like that. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a picture in just pencils. <laughs> like I honestly don't know that I have one finish that I, is just pencils. And I've been coloring since 2018, so in like the four years that I've started coloring. Well, I've been coloring forever, but been on color tube well not my channel but watching color tube and such it's been about four years on and off really um it was just last year that I really really got invested with starting the channel and stuff so so yeah that was a long-winded answer anyway <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes let me just finish this little patch okay these colors well the sh the mm. The yellow is a little much, but I'm actually liking the outline color I chose. But the shading's a little strange. Oh well, it's alright. It's just a picture. And it's not a character I care a whole bunch about because I don't even know who it is, so it's fine. If it comes out a little funky. We might actually finish this on camera. Because I'm going so slow. Um, number nine, color by number or color by color. Ooh. That's hard. I would have to say color by number though. Um, I'm still working on my color by color project and um, I'm finding sometimes it is hard to tell the colors apart. And it's really hard to find like perfect lighting for them. I think in my experience, I still love doing them. But again, I go back to like just wanting to like chill and not think about anything. Just like put YouTube on or put a book on or something. 
and listen in color, I'd probably choose color by, mm, that's so hard, I don't know. I would say color by number though, just because I don't have to finagle with the lights and all that stuff. Just put colors down, but I do love the color by color, so. Again, no offense to either or. I don't think that sentence made any sense, but that's okay. Doesn't have to sometimes. All right, we are down to the sky. Oh, my ear, it's just so bad. All right, so we're gonna go with like a blue blue, I think. Um, oh, sorry, 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 guys. I didn't mean to do that. I think we're gonna go with like cerulean blue, maybe. And then a really light blue. over here not blue <laughs> not blue um yeah we'll go with cerulean blue and then i think i'm gonna do spearmint blue for the light color let me find them in my bag down here i moved it off the table was easy enough. All right, next question. Alcohol markers or Sharpie permanent markers? Um, you guys probably already know this answer. Definitely, wait, did I grab the right one? Yeah, definitely um, alcohol markers, which Sharpies are alcohol markers, but they only often have one nib and I really like the diversity of the nibs and alcohol markers. Also, I just think they go down more smoothly for me. So, not to say they don't have their merits. I do like using those in color by number two. The Sharpies are like permanent markers, but yeah, my alcohol markers are my babies pretty much. Because I don't have kids or pets, so coloring supplies. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like a lonely existence, doesn't it? <laughs> That's not how I meant it. I'm very happy without, well, I would like to have a pet, but I also feel like if I had a pet right now, I would feel like I was neglecting that pet. Not intentionally, of course, just I am too busy to give the time to a pet, especially a dog. <clears throat> Cats kind of like do their own thing, but definitely not the right time in my life to get a dog as much as I want one. <laughs> we'll see if my roommate ends up with a dog though. In that case, I will be more than glad to watch them and take them out if she's not home, but yeah. Anyway, that was way off topic. <laughs> um, I don't even know where I'm at now. Oh, alcohol or Sharpie, alcohol. Um, coloring images realistically or wacky colors? Uh, these are hard questions. I like doing both, but some of my favorite pictures mm. have been my wacky color pictures. Um, some of them I have not liked, but a lot of them I, I do like. It's coloring glove time because I know I'm going to smear marker if I don't put it on. Um, so yeah, definitely wacky colors because it's fun to think outside of the box and like do random things. This whole block is up to here. Is this color blue? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna outline. Because I can, because it doesn't matter if I have streaks. Cool, all right, so that's all light blue. This is all light blue. Well, that's regular blue and then light blue. Oh god. Regular blue. Okay, let's do these small sections first. Because so I can knock them out real quick. Well, this one. Let me answer another question then. Did I finish that question? I'm losing it. I had very little sleep last night, so <laughs> that's I, I'm blaming it on that. Um, yeah, wacky colors. I did finish that question. Um, 
I think the next one is, what do you listen to? Color while listening to a podcast, music, or audiobook. Um, does YouTube count as a podcast? Or is it just YouTube? Usually I'm listening to YouTube or an audiobook. Um, just because that's just what I've been into lately. But now, after going down the TikTok Broadway, TikTok Broadway musical rabbit hole, I really want to listen to, like, all the musical soundtracks, so we'll see. That could change, but I have to have something on. It really doesn't matter what it is. I just need to be listening to something, and usually it's YouTube, because I feel like I'm coloring with somebody when I watch color and chats and stuff. So, yeah. Typically, we'll answer that one, YouTube, but I will listen to audiobooks and stuff, too. And music. Again, I just don't like the silence. <laughs> okay. Um, Kirby Rosanna's, Rosanne's, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, Worlds Within Worlds or Fragile World. I don't have Fragile World, but I do really like it. But that is even more intimidating to me because I feel like I would want to color the animals realistically um whereas in his other books and especially worlds within worlds it's so whimsical i feel like you could color anything anything you want so yeah that is that question i would have to go with um world within worlds oh man Let's see, let's get like some of this done. Cause now I'm like, I feel like flying through the questions. <laughs> and again, I don't remember where her questions stop and ours start, but it doesn't really matter. Um, next one. Oh, this one's really, really hard. Camellia Angelkova Mandalas or miniature series. I guess it's hard, but it's not um, just based on the books that I have. I, uh, Camellia Anglicova is like my favorite coloring book artist because she has such a variety, but also her own style to her stuff. So, um, but her miniature series, they're like my favorite books <laughs> of all time. Um, I just love them. I think they are so stinking cute. So I have to go with her miniatures, but her mandalas are gorgeous too. I just reach for the miniatures more often than the mandala books because for me, mandalas are work. <laughs> Like, I really want them to come out good, even though I have been experimenting with just, like, picking random colors. But oftentimes, I want, like, so many gel pens and so many alcohol markers. So, yeah, I just have to, like, be in the mood for a mandala, whereas the miniatures, like, there's a miniature for every mood, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, definitely the miniature series, but love Camellia. She's awesome. And she puts out so many books. I'm excited to see what she comes out with next. Alrighty then. I hope. Okay, good. I was like, I hope the sound is going because I would be very mad if it wasn't. I noticed, or well, not noticed, somebody pointed out that, which thank you for pointing it out. I do appreciate it. I don't remember your screen name. I'm sorry. Um, but there was no sound on the um, family guy flip through, but I'm about to send that book out. So I don't really want to refilm it. <laughs> so I'm just leaving it up. It's not monetized anyway, um, just because of the subject matter. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I really just don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind and like set it to music down the road. But as of right now, it's just going to stay the way it is. Um, okay, this one was my question, and I kind of regret making this question. Um, buddy color or color on your own? Um, I feel like all of us have the same answer for this, and I think it's really funny. Um, I love doing buddy colors, but <laughs> I would have to go with color on my own because I can choose whatever I want to color at that moment. Um, and not that I can't with buddy colors. I just feel like, first off, I take forever with buddy colors because I work a full-time job, so I can't just, like, sit and do it in one sitting, unfortunately, usually. Um, and some buddy colors, as our lovely creator of this tag knows, took, took me, like, six months to do ours. Um, 
one of ours. We did one that didn't take me quite as long, but I think that one took me a month. But just because life is so unpredictable, um, I always preface my buddy colors with like, it may take me a while to get to it. And I mean like a while. <laughs> um, so just a heads up, you don't have to color with me, but would love to if you want to. Um, so yeah, but I do like the freedom of just like picking whatever the heck I want to color whenever I want to color it. But buddy colors are also very, very fun. So that is a very hard question and I regret coming up with it. <laughs> no, not really. I don't regret it, but it is a tough choice. Um, okay, next. Trying a new artist or buying from an old favorite? That's very hard. <laughs> I would have to, I think I'm gonna have to go with buying from an old favorite just because, um, obviously I like their books, so I know what I'm getting, but also I feel more inclined to support artists that I really like. Um, from a financial perspective, like I want like Camellia and such and such, Deva and Color Quest to be in, like, well, I want all artists to do well, but I'm more inclined. Just like off the top of my head is where I'm coming from with this answer. I'm more inclined to support people that I know do right by the coloring community than take a chance on a new artist. But I do love trying new artists too, so that's not to say that I won't. It's just, I'm more inclined to buy from somebody that I know their work. And just, not really who they are as a person, just like their integrity as a, a an artist. Um, okay. Uh, lost my spot again. <laughs> colorful or neutral palette? Colorful. Um, I like neutrals, but I think neutrals have a place in makeup and decor and things like that. And in a coloring book, like, but then again, people do like amazing things with like sepia tones and stuff. So that is really cool. Um, but I just love color. So definitely colorful, but there is a time and place for neutral because sometimes those pictures come out amazing. My lines are all over the place. I don't care. <laughs> this is for fun. I was so excited that I, I like thought, oh yeah, I have to do a tag. Oh, yay, I get to complete this page on camera. I don't know why that made me so happy, but it did. All right, we're getting there, guys. Next question. Um, typically color a page in one sitting or work on it little by little. Um, as you can tell, typically I work on them little by little, but if it's like simpler color by numbers, um, I will do them in one sitting, but anything else, like any project pages or even just like straight coloring alcohol marker pages, I tend to do not all at once. Well, unless it's the miniatures because they're so little and cute and addictive that I could just get those done in one sitting usually. It also is because I tend to color late at night for some reason, I've noticed. Um, well, not, I mean, not that it's late now, but it is evening. Um, so usually I'm like winding down, getting tired, and then I'm getting ready for bed. So, yeah. Um, I think that's what also part of the reason why. And again, that's not always, because I can do like chibi girls in one sitting too. But a lot of the time, I don't. <laughs> it's a, again, just depends on how much time I have on my hands. Oh, this hat turned green up there because I went over it with the blue. My ears itch so bad. I ran out of Q-tips. I hope you can't hear me scratching my ear because it's so loud to me, but, oh, itchy. Now my eyes are watering. Um, okay, number 19. Sorry, I kind of slacked off on the numbers there for a while. Color while watching TV or color while watching YouTube? Oh, okay. Um, so I guess to go back to the other question, 
I would have to say audiobooks. Um, for this question, definitely YouTube. Because if I'm watching on something on TV, I typically want to like focus on it. So definitely while watching YouTube because usually I'm just listening to you guys chat. For those of you who have channels or like booktube where they're basically just chatting to and every now and again I'll stop and like write down a book that they mentioned or something. Well, not write down, but go to Goodreads and put in a book that they mentioned or something. So yeah, definitely YouTube. Ow. Just cracked my elbow on the table. All right. Color by number pixel mosaics or standard color by number. That's too hard. Oh my gosh, my ear just so bad. Um, that, that one's really, really, really hard. Um, cause I really like both, but I'm going to have to go with regular color by number cause the pixels do take me a while. Um, but I do, oh, that's a weird combination. It's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be a cloud, but it's a green cloud. He's got a funny look on his face. Maybe he farted. <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm such a weirdo. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, definitely just straight color by numbers, something like this. Um, or like all the other color by number books I mentioned. Yep, yep, we're gonna go with that. Keep missing streaks because I'm right on the edge here. Strokes, not streaks. Well, I guess both. And I think this might lead us to our bonus question. Yep, that was number 20, so bonus, quest bonus question. 21, if you had to use only, ugh, only one supply for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Oh my god. You guys, I don't know. Um, well, I guess I'd have to say alcohol markers. Because I love them so much. And like in books like this, I could... It doesn't say I can't buy duplicate copies of books, so... <laughs> I would probably just have to do that for the rest of my life, which is kind of annoying. Or just pick and choose my pages, that's an option too. So, oh, that, that makes it harder now, now that I think of it that way. Um, yeah, no, alcohol markers for sure. Then maybe <clears throat> my coloring book stash would lessen because <laughs> I would only pretty much buy single-sided books. But yeah, I guess you could buy multiple books. That just seems like such a waste. I'd rather just pick and choose, I think. But yeah, alcohol markers, because I just love working with them so much. They make me very happy. Um, it would be very hard to live without like gel pens though and all my embellishment stuff, but I could do it. I could deal with straight colored pictures, I think. So yeah, that is the this or that tag created by Michaela Renee, round two. Um, and yeah, keep a lookout for more tag videos, friends, because I've got a lot, especially now that Danny Buttons put out her uh, most recent, I shouldn't say last, most recent um, scavenger hunt. That is super exciting. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a really fun tag. Thank you, Michaela, for the tag. And thank you for thinking of me to be able to provide you with one question. Sorry, I wasn't able to provide more, but that was really cool too. So yeah, I guess we'll wrap up here. We're almost done. And I didn't have to fast forward anything or speed up any clips, which is nice. Yay, we're done. <clears throat> He looks really good, actually, I think. Oh wait, let me fill in that little, let me find concrete gray. I think that's black. There it is. Fill in his little ear here that I missed. Wow, I did pretty good with not missing too many chunks. That usually doesn't happen. I'm usually going back and trying to figure out what colors to use. But yeah, I don't know this guy's name, so if you do, let me know down below. Um, Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not gonna tag anybody in particular. 
Um, I'm just gonna open because most people have been tagged, but I'm gonna open this up to everybody, of course. I know other people do that as well. So yeah, just go ahead and do the tag if you wanna do the tag. Um, yeah, I think that's all. And I hope you guys um, had a fun time listening to me ramble on and on, <laughs> as always. Anyway, I will stop now. Love you guys, stay safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.